Hi friends, it's Star Thrifter and I have a plus size women's clothing thrift haul to share with you today. We'll get right on to it and I'll show you some brands that I usually pick up for plus size clothing. I sell full time on eBay and I also sell, sell on Poshmark and uh, anyways, we'll get right on to it. Um, plus size clothing, you can pick up brands that you wouldn't pick up in the smaller sizes a lot of times and this is a really great example is Croft and Barrel. Croft and Barrel does kind of decent um, with the plus size. And um, I do a lot of their like t-shirts and um, long sleeve t-shirts with this brand. But this is a 1X and it's a Henley. I have heard that Henley's is supposed to be popular this year. I don't know. But um, this is just, you know, like a little pullover Henley. It's kind of like the cotton. I think it's, is it Paisley? Or just a print? Uh, it looks kind of like it's just printed. But it's Croft and Barrel. Otherwise, you know, I, I wouldn't be picking that brand up, you know, in the smaller sizes. But the larger sizes does sell. Um, is this a plus size? Lucky brand. Oh, it's an XL. This, I don't really consider XL plus size. However, it is an XL and I'll show you. And I do want to make a comment in regards to these Lucky brand t-shirts. I listed a couple, um, I think it was last week or the week before, two of them and they were a larger and extra large they sold right away same person bought, bought them like i mean that day or the next day i mean within a couple days it's really fast and uh but it was the t-shirts just wanted to mention that anyhow this is a little lucky brand now those two t-shirts that sold really fast had you know they weren't the logo they were more of a printed style and if you're not familiar, Lucky Brand has a style number that you can go off from. It's usually behind the material tag. And with the, if it's regular size clothing, it usually always starts with a 7W for women's. If it's plus size, um, it could be like 7Q. And then men's, it should be an M, but I don't know for sure on that. But it's this tiny little tag. And I know this probably won't show clear on here. I don't know how, how to get it to show clear. But anyhow, um, there's one there, and um, what you do is you just type Lucky Space Brand on the like a Google search, and then that number. And then I click on images and see if that comes up. And that way you can use keywords for your listings. I didn't used to take time to do that, and it really does make a difference. Um, just remember on eBay, you're not supposed to use any of those stock photos. I know, I know, a lot of people use them, but you're not supposed to, and you can get the listing pulled, and eventually you may, you know, could get your listing, or your account could get shut down for that type of thing. Poshmark, I know a lot of people use them over there. Use your own discretion, I don't know, but eBay... Can get strict on it. You're not supposed to do that. This is uh, Sing <laughs> Sigrid Olson, and it's new with tags. It was only fourteen dollars at TJ Maxx, but it is a three X, and I thought really cute for summertime. It's got pineapples on it, but it's a black and white print. Really cute pattern, and um, you know, I know that that says you know fourteen ninety nine. But if, you know, you sold it for like $15, most of all these items, I only paid a dollar for them. I waited till the color tag went to a dollar on most of them. I do pay up for things, but on this haul, it should mostly be a dollar. This is an exception. I would have paid probably regular price for this. Either $3.99 or half off. One day you get half off if you can fit it in their blue bags. But this is a Patagonia, and that's how come I paid up for it, because of the brand. But it's uh, actually a tankini uh, bathing suit top, Patagonia. And hopefully it'll have some sort of key um, style numbers. I don't know if it does for sure, but, you know, a little tankini top. I sell a lot of bathing suits, and I've been selling them. And this is March. I sold uh, bathing suits last month, February. I've been selling them. Um, the plus size ones, if you can find like the um, swim dresses, I find that that's a really great thing to pick up. This is a beautiful Elaine Fisher. Again, this is not exactly plus size because it's a petite large. But um, I don't know. I, I think I did put a couple items in here that weren't plus size but were really, you know, nice pieces to pick up. Red velvet. I know we just got through Christmas and everything and this would have been really great to sell during that time but i'll still list this and um i just listed a red um blazer by white house black market velvet um just yet this week but anyhow it's elaine fisher and it's still a beautiful piece hopefully it will still sell it might not sell for as much money because you know um kind of away from that season in the winter look this 
is, what is this? This is Soft Surroundings 2X. I think this is the coolest shirt. It's velvet plaid pink. You can kind of see when I move it around that it's a velvet. And it's real long tunic. This is beautiful. I really like this piece. Soft Surroundings. And the fact that it's a plus size. I find with Elaine Fisher and Soft Surroundings, if you can get the plus size, they sell quite quickly and for more money. I think I was overpricing on my regular size items, the Soft Surrounding brand and the Elaine Fisher. Years ago, both of them, it seemed like they sold a little quicker for more money. But especially this last year, you know, I think that I was overpricing them and I've been starting to price them a little bit lower. And they've been selling a little bit more. But I do know in the soft surroundings, too, the plus size sells. But this is a beautiful top. This I probably paid um, half off, $4.99 or half off. I don't know what day I picked that up. But I think I paid uh, probably regular price for that because it was such a great piece. If you like, you can subscribe. I got a lot of other videos up. Um, I have uh, videos up in regards to Poshmark and also eBay. And um, and if you push the notification button, um, when you, that little bell, it'll tell you when I upload, you know, other uh, videos. Um, and if you'd like, um, I would appreciate it just while we're kind of on that subject. If you could push the thumbs up button for me, if you've been enjoying this video, I would really greatly appreciate that too. Um, this is a Jacqueline Smith, and it's a 2X. I do pick up this brand with plus size. However, it doesn't sell real quickly or for that much money. It was a Kmart brand, but they have some really nice pieces. And I'll tell you what, some of the stuff was not super cheap to begin with then, you know. Even if you go to Walmart or even Myers now, brands that are just the really average brands. I mean, they that stuff's not, like, super cheap anymore. You know, it could be $20, $30, you know. It depends. But this is a 2X. With it being, I will uh, use a keyword of black floral. I think sometimes people may uh, possibly look for that keyword, black floral, because I have heard that it's kind of popular. I think it's beautiful, black floral. But anyways, um, this is a Jacqueline Smith. And let's see. This is a T by Talbot's. I don't really do that great with the T by Talbot's in the smaller size. It seems like those pieces don't, you know, they just really sit. Um, just with the pieces maybe I have had. But this is a plus size 2X and it's in really nice shape. It's really cute for summer. Straight little like long sleeve t-shirt. It's T by Talbot's. Some people really say that there are some pieces by Talbot's that has been selling pretty decent. But I really think that you should do your comps before, you know, you pick up a ton of it to know what pieces to pick up. And because uh, there's a lot of Talbot's, you know, available um, at the thrift stores. This is called Pebble and Stone, and it's a 3X. I thought this was the neatest looking shirt. I would like to have a shirt like this of my size. I don't know if you can tell. See how the top is like that, where it's got that cut, kind of like a cutout, kind of lays over it? I think this is very nice. Very casual, but it could be kind of dressy. This would be a great top if you're going out to dinner or something like that. I don't know if it really, but it could maybe be a business top. Depends on where people work, you know? And businesses, I know, has been, you know, a little bit more casual over the, you know, later years. Another Jacqueline Smith 2X, again, black floral, but this is pleated. And I will be using that too. It's really actually pretty. And this, now, this could be, you know, business. That'd be really cute. You could wear that with like a suit or a blazer jacket with pants. Or it could be casual. This is a Croft and Barrel. I do pretty decent on their carnigans. And this is a 2X. And this is, this is just kind of an average shaped one. It's not floral. I don't, well, kind of. <laughs> It's kind of floral geometric print. But anyways, um, this is just an all right shaped one. But, cracked and barrel. And I don't know, um, this shouldn't have to go priority. Um, it should be able to be under um, 16 ounces, but I don't know for sure it could have to go priority. And I do a flat rate. I us usually get the padded flat rate mailers. But lately I've been noticing that I've been checking now. I've been actually weighing them, you know, when I get ready to ship them instead of just doing the flat rate padded and then checking to see what just straight priority is. It's some of it's sometimes it's been cheaper. It depends though, because I had one today 
And you know, I charge, um, it cost me like $8.30 uh, with eBay's discount for a padded flat rate mailer to mail out. No matter where it goes, if you're not familiar with using them. Um, however, I, you know, I charge like $8.90. You know, because those prices fluctuate and these prices at the post office keep going up. And if you have price increases, how are you going to increase all those listings? And you know what I mean? Unless you, there's a way to do bulk. And I don't know if there is, but I couldn't really do bulk because each item is kind of different. You know, there's only certain things that are pat, flat rate. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's going to go priority over the regular. Anyhow, charge eight ninety. And I checked today the one I think um, I could mail it out for 803, which I chose that for just priority instead of the pad of flat rate. But the other one I checked that was going to another state, um, it was like 11 something. I went ahead and used the uh, pad of flat rate. This is super cute. What is it? <laughs> I don't know what this is. This is, I don't know for sure. I'll have to get my glasses on and figure out what this brand is. But it's actually, you know, I think this is a busty ear. And it doesn't have an additional strap here. It must have been strapless. I don't know how this should have been not with the plus size stuff. Although it is like a 36C or something. But I don't know what happened there. I might have some odd pieces that, you know, got mixed up that weren't plus size. It's another tankini top, and this is a plus size. This is a 16, I think, and um, a little tankini top. And Land's End, for some reason, the Land's End swimwear sells a little quicker and for a little bit more money than some of the, like, off-brands and stuff like that. This is just called, oh, this is a Jamaica Bay. And, uh, but with the plus size, kind of slow. I don't really pick up any of the tankinis um, of the smaller sizes unless it's a great brand like that Patagonia or, you know, if it was another really, you know, great brand. When it comes to bathing suits, if you find the miracle suits used or new, I had one that was brand new with tags and then I have a used one. Those sim swimsuits, and uh, I think, I don't know if they only make one pieces. They probably make other things, but the pieces I have found have been one pieces that's a really great bathing suit to pick up. And just, you know, you can do comps when you're at the store, but that's a great piece. This is a Dress Barn 2X animal print. And, you know, hopefully animal print is still, you know, popular. I, I think it's kind of something that always stays a little popular. You know, maybe not as popular as it was before, but this is a Dress Barn. This could be uh, business or casual because it's more like that polyester, you know, type thing. A lot of these tops... I will start them um, either $19 or $25. That's where I usually start that just average pieces and things like that. They sell $15 to $20, generally. And if, and now, if it's something I've had for a really long time, I, you know, will take less for it and things like that. But that's just to give you an idea, you know, on it. This is um, Marina Luna. And I wasn't familiar with that brand. It's a 3X. It's super soft. And it's kind of, it's a tie-dye t-shirt. And I thought this was cool. Hopefully this will sell. I don't know this brand. But like I said, you know, with the plus sizes, sometimes you can buy, you know, get uh, pick up brands that are not real popular. And, um, and they still sell. But it depends on the pieces too. However, I was thinking last night, I got a lot of plus size stuff listed. And I might start being a little bit more choosy, you know, because I do have a lot of pieces listed. Um, Premise Studio, and it's a 3X. This is really cute. This would be great for, it's a roll tab. If you're not familiar with what roll tab is, it's where they have that button, you know, up like maybe three quarters of the way down or half. And then it has this, you know, it can button, you know, with that strap. Just in case you don't know, that's called the roll tab. Um, but anyhow, this is beautiful, actually. Business or casual. And you know when you go to the thrift stores, the plus size clothing, you know, just kind of like a comparison, the section might only be like this big of what's available, plus size clothing, where the general size, you know, small, medium, large, or whatever, 
there's just like tons or, you know, rows of it. There's a lot less when you go thrifting, you know, and maybe that means there's a lot less listed. If you think about it, you know, that means if you do pick up plus size, then you might sell it a little bit quicker. This looks like it goes to a bathing suit and maybe, you know what? This goes... There's a pair of black bathing suit bottoms that goes to one of the bathing the tankini tops. And now I have to figure out which one. But anyways, that's a two-piece. Oh, torrid bathing suits, too, can sell for a little bit of money. I sold a used one. I think it was animal print. It was really cute. It was a two-piece. But it was, you know, real high-cut waist bottoms. And I don't remember how much that sold. Like $30, $40, I think. Something like that. Every 2X. And this is beautiful. It's a blouse and it, another black floral. I used to put bold floral, but I don't know, you know, if I'll keep uh, using that. But, um, you know, this is just an all right plus size brand that I have found. But this piece is nice and that will sell. Stack's getting a little high there. <laughs> this is Zianna 1X. And I thought this was cute. Um, I always have a hard time knowing what you call the bottom of these. See how that's kind of like a wrap on the bottom? If you could write in the comments what, you, what those are called, I would greatly appreciate it. I usually just say wrap or something like that or bottom wrap. But this is a cool looking top for summer. I think it is. And hopefully, you know, I think that style would still be okay with the plus size clothing. I don't I don't really, you know, necessarily pick up that style um, with the regular size unless it's a really great brand. This is kind of cool. Simply Clio Da 2X. And this has really got a cool print on it. But I got to show you the, the trim on it. It's like pleated. Isn't that cool? I think this is beautiful. This is almost semi-sheer. It's not exactly, I don't know. No, I might not have to use that. But if it is semi-sheer, try to remember to uh, uh, use that with your uh, listing and let them know that it is, you know, before they purchase it. And I find that semi-sheer sells in general. It has for the last few years, um, for sure, for me, you know, for the most part. But it also is trending sheer sleeves, sheer tops, you know, something under it, you know. But um, it's been trending in all sizes, you know. Kim and Cami 2X. I thought this was cute. Very nice camo. I think camo is something that kind of stays a little bit popular for, you know, regardless. Um, this is a beautiful top. It's very soft. It's probably polyester, but it feels like silk. Jessica London 22 is the size. It is a button, but it also has like a bow tie. Bow tie was trending for a while there, but I don't know if it is anymore. Um, but it's paisley. This is very beautiful. It feels just like silk, but I don't think it is. It, it probably is polyester. Uh, it's polyester, but very nice piece. This would be beautiful for office or casual, or not casual, but, you know, kind of like going out, you know, for the evening. This is neat. It's Jincham plaid. It's called uh, Jane and Delaney 2X, but it's almost like a not really a gauzy, but crepey. I don't know, like that stretchy wrinkle, you know, type material. But I think this kind of does stay a little bit more, um, you know, in style. Um, I know it was really popular there, it seemed like um, a couple years ago or whenever it was. But it just seems like it's one of those brands that kind of, you know, stays in style for a while. I have another bag here. Um, Velvet and Claire, and um, I don't know if this is an anthropology or one of them or not. I can't remember. However, I wouldn't pick this up in the small sizes, but this is a 2X. It's beautiful. It's a V-neck popover. Popover, uh, most of the time, is where it just buttons part of the way, and I don't know if it has to have a collar or not. But anyways, because um, it might be popover shirt, you know, them. But anyhow, this is very beautiful. Black, and it's got like this beading. Very nice beading. But velvet and clear. That will be a nice piece. And, you know, some of them that is a nicer brand or a nicer piece, I'll, you know, price up a little bit. It just depends. And, you know, there'll always be a range. You know, some people selling them for $10 and some people selling stuff for, you know, 20 you know, 19 or 20 or up. It just depends. But, you know, maybe just take the overall. But it's up to you on how long you want to sit on the items. 
you know, that you have listed or you want to keep your inventory moving. Just depends. Um, Rose and Olive 2X, another really, this is really very soft. And it's a pullover tunic. And this also has some sort of like beading on it. It's, it's almost like a sparkly, like a rhinestone or fake, you know, diamond type thing. But anyhow, very nice piece. And very soft. This is one of the examples of the Crofton Barrow t-shirts. However, this is a 2XL. I thought I'd try this. I usually go with only the plus size, like 1X, 2X, you know, things like that. But I thought I'd try a 2XL. I don't know how that's going to go. Very nice t-shirt. Very soft. And they, a lot of times they'll say the classic tee. But like I said, just thought I would try that piece being a 2XL. I don't know. This is a CW Classics 1X. I thought this was cute, uh, maybe peasant or baby doll style, but for summer, cute little pink top. Um, it's a little faded, and um, I may, what a, sometimes I write, you know, if it's faded, then I'll make some note notation that's got, you know, wash wear. And uh, this is a very nice Croft & Bear piece. It's a 1X. And it's short sleeved and it's got a little bit of ruffle in the front. That's a nice piece. This is um, Notations and it is, I think it's a 2X. It's actually black velvet with sequin. And like I said, I know it's not the holidays anymore, but isn't this a beautiful piece? If somebody was going out for the evening, Maybe they would still purchase this, you know, even though it's not around, you know, like Christmas or New Year's. But, you know, this would be a very nice piece for someone. Very pretty. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but I don't think it's over a pound. This is, okay, the Chaps 9 Iron. They sell, and this is a 2X. I even can sell this brand when it's, um, the like, small, medium, large. Not as quickly for as much, but it does sell. And if it's the non-iron and long sleeve button, and a lot of times if it's, you know, paisley or bright print, this isn't paisley, but it's kind of like an old-fashioned kind of floor printed, not really floral. Well, kind of, I don't know. But anyhow, this is a 2X. This will sell. And I'll have to do comps to see how much, you know, that is uh, going for. This is a striped, I really usually don't like to pick up things that's got sparkle in it. It just doesn't seem like that sells very great for the pieces that I picked up. But this is a Talbot's 2X Woman, and I thought I would try it. But it does have sparkle, you know, the metallic. But with it being the Talbot's 2X, and it's very nice shape, I thought I'd give it a try. And like I said, most of these pieces um, I would have paid a um, dollar for. This is um, Logo Lounge by Lori Goldstein, and uh, this is a plus size. I think it's a, well, I don't know. I think it's around a 2X, but I could be wrong on that. I got to get my glasses to read that, but it is, I think, a plus size. And it's just like a pullover sweatshirt. This brand used to be, I think, more popular years ago. And I do still pick it up, but I think I should probably be more choosy with it. And maybe only go with the longer sizes. Kind of got like a puff sleeve. <laughs> you know, with the, go with the maybe, I meant to say, if I didn't, the bigger sizes. Because it just seems like it's been sitting. However, a lot of the pieces are incredibly soft. I think it's a really great line. and uh, But I, kind of, I think I'm going to be a little bit more choosy on that. But with the plus size clothing, like I said, a lot of times you can pick up these brands they might not be a really big name brand and they still sell. They don't sell for a ton of money, but they are really great pieces to pick up for bread and butter and when you need more inventory. Um, and I try to list um, at least 15. I would like to be, really would like to list 20 or 30 a day. But I got to, you know, build up to that. And it's getting the inventory because I've, I've started to become more choosy on what I do pick up. I want stuff that's going to move. I do st still pick up the plus size stuff, kind of general overall, you know, and like I said, if it's not spectacular brands or quick sell for rate. But with the other clothing, 
I've been trying to pick up things that are more of a quicker sell through rate or, you know, a little, um, you know, maybe a nice, nicer brand or, you know, sells for a little bit more money. However, I still have to mix some bread and butter even with those two to have enough inventory because it is true. The more you list every day, like I say, list, 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 because the more you list every day consistently, the more sales you're going to have. Unless you're selling stuff that's really popular and got a really quick sell for rate and, you know, doesn't have a ton of competition, but general overall for clothing, there's a lot of competition. And, uh, but even with regular products, I mean, people have talked about it many times. The more new listings you can get up a day, the more sells. But it has to be consistent. You have to stay consistent. If you list 50 in one day and none for a week, your sales might not really go that great. It's got to be consistent. If you can't list a ton a day, um, if you could maybe list a bunch on one day and then keep them in your drafts and then you can um, post them, you know, list them as, you know, maybe throughout the week or a few days when you can list again, that could be um, another option also. But anyhow, um, you know, I find that it is true. The more I list every day, the more I sell now. It's supposed to eventually get to where if you like less 10 a day, you sell 10 a day, but it takes a while to get there. I have heard different theories on that. Some say it could be a year. You might have to list 10 a day for a year to start selling exactly 10 a day for a year. Some people do it in less time. I think if you're selling more quicker sell through rate items and more popular items, obviously it's going to probably, you know, get more close to that quicker. However, as an overall general rule, I have found I sell about half of what I list. If you sell 10 a day, you're going to maybe sell around, I mean, if you list 10 a day, you're going to sell around five, it, give or take, you know, could be a few more one day, a few less the other day, just to give you an example. And, uh, but anyhow, it's supposed to eventually move up to equal. And I don't know when, anyhow, um, thank you very much. And, uh, many prosperous sales to you. Thank you.